terrorists. Hold on. Here's Tara's Daily Rant. Yep, and this bud's for your arrest. These are, them's Bud Light values. If you disagree with Dylan Mulvaney, new Spug's child, because remember, he his shtick, the reason they hired him, the 26-year-old gay man, look, there is a ton of influencers on TikTok who are male to female transgender individuals that that make you special, makes you one of thousands. Doesn't get you a Bud Light endorsement deal. His catch, his special angle is he is transitioning to be a 12-year-old girl. He identifies as a minor. Once you understand that, you understand everything that's going on this week. We want a major victory this week. We did it the way that I beg and plead every day on the show for us to win. We use shame. We use derision. That pedophile rights bill in Minnesota, kaput, kaput, sponsored by a female to male transgender legislator who, by the way, uh, won one of them Women of the World War uh, Year Awards from USA Today. It would have struck from the law the essential ban on those whose sexual orientation is, hey, I'm attracted to children. It would have given them rights. Can't discriminate against them. Would have given them the same rights uh, that black people have, gay people have, women have not to be discriminated against in the workplace and in housing. And in adoptions, by the way. So I mean, you would have seen pedophiles in Minnesota quickly file suit. They want to adopt kids. They're going to want to work on the children's ward or the hospital. They're going to want to not be denied when they apply for a public school teaching position. They're going to want to be up close with your kids. And that was sailing right through. And you stopped it. Absolute outrage and derision. And the Democrats tried to stay strong for a few days. They did. They wouldn't pull it, but they finally had to. We won. How do we do that? Wasn't complicated. We spoke out. Where do we do that? Twitter mostly. That's why Twitter's so important. We dealt a blow to their agenda. And make no mistake about it, their agenda is the legalization and forced celebration of pedophilia. And we saw it this week. So when people say, Tara, and I get this all the time, oh, you're exaggerating for ratings. No, I am not. Nope. No, I'm right. I'm right. And this proves it. This was their agenda. Terrorists want it. Hear the Terror Show weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9. WORD, the voice of the Carolinas.